Hello everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a quick one. It's going to be on how to export models from Fusion 360 into Substance Painter. That way you can use some decent textures on your model and you don't have to worry about UVs or slapping basic materials on with Octane or Redshift or whatever. So I must admit this workflow isn't perfect. Fusion 360 also isn't made for the design industry yet. so. We have to take some faults here and there, but um, I think it's pretty good. I use this workflow for a few months now. I've been looking for it myself for a long time too, and I'm really glad I found out about this. I wouldn't recommend this for people going into game design, because your geometry is going to be a little bit messed up. But you can actually just retopologize your model in another software and uh, the new view version of ZBrush is also really good with the Z remesher. So you might actually be able to uh, recover some of these Fusion 360 models and reuse them in some other software, whatever you want. So let's get started with this. I'm gonna go over two models here in Fusion. For example, this one without the figure you can export in one part but sometimes like for this one I had to export in separate parts but it doesn't really matter too much because I already planned on using a different texture on the black parts and the gray parts and so forth so let's go with this one because I only have to export one part here so you go to file export pick IGS give it whatever name you want i'm gonna save it in my tutorial folder let's call this igs for now then we're gonna go into moi 3d i'm gonna open the file we just saved like this sometimes moi can crash if your model is too heavy that way you know you should separate your model into different pieces or sometimes just restart moi and it might work as well we're gonna hit save we're going to obj let's call this obj and now you're gonna have a pop-up screen normally it's gonna be closed but uh, if you open this it's gonna be on end cons as well probably you can see the full menu so um, we're gonna be using triangles for this method because the uv unwrapping tool doesn't work too well with end guns for some reason so that kind of sucks we have to um, kind of sacrifice our geometry for the UVs and the texturing but it doesn't really matter if you're just making some concept art or whatever so you can use this slider to uh, get more polygons or whatever but we're gonna do 10 for now click OK and it's gonna export next up we're gonna wrap our model in a full 3d virtual spaces pay attention to the virtual spaces one you also have another one and it looks very similar so we're gonna go to file load click the obj we just saved and you get your model inside here so the point in here is to uv unwrap our model we're gonna use an algorithm that's gonna search edges for us and it's gonna cut it itself you're gonna see that we're gonna have a bunch of islands on the right side here but it doesn't really matter for us once again you can also cut it by hand and adjust everything to your liking but i'm gonna go not gonna go in depth uh, on that topic right now so we're gonna hit this arrow, um, it's gonna select some edges for you to cut. You can use a few different algorithms here. If the first one doesn't work, you just try to use a few others. Um, right now we have some edges selected, and then you're gonna click this button, and that's gonna unfold our uh, model. By the way, if these tabs on the top or on the side aren't uh, opened, you just click them and just set them all open then we're gonna have this huge mess of all these islands together and sometimes you're gonna notice that the model is a bit blue or reddish uh, not in this case because our model is pretty good but sometimes we might need to optimize our model and the way we can do that is just by clicking optimize right on the top and the default thing I do is I change this number to about 10 and it's gonna optimize your um, model 10 times next up the only thing we have to do is put all these islands together 
nice and organized. We're not gonna do this by hand, of course. You're gonna click auto fit in the layout menu and then you're gonna click um, pack after select edges. And that's gonna pack all of our islands into one little cube. Make sure everything is inside this cube. That's what the auto fit button is doing. And yeah, we're done. You can, as I said, cut it yourself and you're gonna have way less islands. This is just the algorithm that uh, cuts up everything for us. So we're gonna save this um, into export, give it a name, let's say UV. Then we're gonna enable the OBJ file and export the OBJ. And now we can just go into Substance Painter. We're gonna click new, select our model, the UV one of course. Set this to 2K or 4K if your PC can handle that. And I use OpenGL because Octane and Cinema 4D use OpenGL. All right, now our model is imported into Substance Painter. But first, before we start painting, you're gonna go into the texture set settings. Click the bake mesh maps, go into this one and bake your model into this one. Alright, this is done and now for a test we're gonna go to smart materials and slap one of these on. I kinda like this one to see if everything <coughs> works correctly. And as you can see it worked pretty good. That's about everything I wanted to say. I definitely think that Fusion is really good for hard surface modeling and this is a good step in the right direction. It's far from perfect, but at least you can slap some decent textures on your model and it's gonna be way more fun as well. So if you know how to use Fusion 360, or even if you don't, I definitely think it's worth checking this workflow out because you can make some really really cool pieces with this so let me know if you found this tutorial helpful and yeah see you guys in the next one bye